Clemson heads to South Carolina. It's Palmetto State, right? You guys tell me in the comments. Uh, South Carolina, a seven-point home dog here with a total of 52. And uh, it's at 6.30 p.m. Central Time on the SEC Network. So, let's pull up our numbers. And let's take a look here. Full season would have Clemson favored by 11.37. Uh, the Tigers are back into the college football playoff top 25 uh, this week. You know, I I get it. Defense is really good, at least full season. Number 10 in the country in PPA allowed per drive. They're number one against the pass, which is the one thing that South Carolina apparently does well. Number 38 PPA per pass on the season for South Carolina's offense. Clemson's defense is number one. Um, here's the thing, though. Like, the numbers aren't just based on the full season stats. And, again, you start to look at some crazy stuff here about, like, offensive red zone conversion percentage. Clemson is number 123 in the country, 72.73%. Uh, turnovers, I mean, Clemson number 114 in giveaways per game. They they did it against North Carolina as well. They still found a way to cover that one. Uh, but South Carolina does not turn the ball over. They're number 20 in giveaways per game. South Carolina number 24 in turnover margin. Uh, Clemson number 46. South Carolina, a lot of penalties, a lot of issues, whatever. Clemson does not commit penalties. But South Carolina, net explosiveness, number 22. And Clemson, number 127 over here. So that's something to pay attention to. Look for big plays and whatnot. Let's uh, let's pull up the full thing, and let's look at the last four weeks here. Over the past four weeks, uh, the stats would have Clemson as a little less than a point favorite. A little less than half of a point favorite. Point three four. It would have Clemson winning this game... 23.67 to 23.33. That's surprising to me. Uh, this Clemson defense still really good. Number one in defensive success rate allowed, uh, but they're still number 72 in offensive success rate. Uh, let's scroll down and take a look here. I'm going to yep, zoom that in just a touch. Clemson's offense is number 113 PPA per pass over the past four weeks. Uh, South Carolina's defense is number 27 in that metric. Clemson's offense, number 53 PPA per rush, number 82 rushing success rate. South Carolina's defense, number 46, number 52. The defense has started to step up a little bit for South Carolina. Uh, five factors rank over the past four weeks. Down here towards the bottom, uh, you would see that, I mean, these two teams are not that far apart. Clemson, number 19. South Carolina, number 39. Uh, you, you still need a little help if you are my gosh Clemson just not explosive whatsoever number 131 in offensive explosiveness number 133 in defensive explosiveness allowed so they allow big plays and they don't create them they're number 133 in net explosiveness over the past four weeks South Carolina on the other hand number 21 in net explosiveness I mean that is a huge huge difference uh, if South Carolina is going to be able to stay in this ball game they're going to have to hit some explosives. And I would imagine, I mean, look at this, 133 in rushing explosiveness allowed. Uh, South Carolina's number 77. Yeah, see, passing, it, it, some of these numbers don't make sense to me. Uh, but, hey, it is what it is. Uh, South Carolina, I think, can be really explosive. Uh, they, I, I think that they will be explosive against this Clemson defense. Uh, that seems to be the one weakness. And... If you start to look at it, yeah, I think it's too many points. I'm going to take Shane Beamer. Uh, plus the seven on this. South Carolina plus seven here. Clemson is a better team. I don't think that is uh, being disputed. But South Carolina number 17 in PPA margin over the past four weeks. They are trending in the right direction towards the end of the season. They would love nothing more than to knock Clemson back out of the rankings again. Give them a fifth loss on the season. Uh, power rating has Clemson by like 13. But I'll still take South Carolina plus the seven at home. I think they're going to be fired up. Uh, that place is going to be jumping. Absolutely jumping. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. 
Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.